welcome to this easy bookkeeping tutorial. So the first thing you want to do when you get your spreadsheet is to set up the setup tab. So step one is to uh, write your currency symbol. So I am in dollars, so I just type in the dollar symbol. As you can see, once it's set up, it will appears everywhere in the sheets. The second step is to choose a start date. So I will choose uh, 1st of January. Perfect. In step three, you will have to enter your income and expense categories. So let's add an income. Let's say YouTube AdSense and expense salary. Once you've done that, you need to scroll down and in step four, you will have to enter your monthly profit goals. So let's say in January 2020, I had a monthly goal of 5,000. So you will have to enter all your monthly goals. Once the setup is done, you can go to the transaction tab. The tra in the transaction tab, you will have to enter all the data about your transactions. So basically you will have to enter the date, the invoice number, if you have it, the type, is it an income or an expense? The category that you just decided in the setup tab, the net amount, the sales tax, and other fees if applied, and then the total amount will calculate by itself. You can also enter some description or notes. Um, perfect. So we are May 13th. So I will add a invoice number. Let's say this. Um, I have an income income it's going to be youtube adsense that we just entered let's say 400 dollars i had uh, 125 dollars in sales in sales tax and then 10 dollars in fees for a total of 535 dollars i can leave myself some notes youtube highest income perfect so be careful when you enter your data in the transaction trackers because this tab will auto-populate all the other tabs. So in the monthly dashboards, the only thing you have to enter is the year and the month. So let's change November for December. As you can see, everything changes by itself. So you, so you will have your profit or loss for this specific month. You will also see your end net income, net expense. You will also have a quick income breakdown and a expense breakdown. You can also compare your income versus your expense, and then you will see your profit goal progress. So here I had a very good month, as you can see. This tab will also calculate your profit margin, and you will also see a list of all your income and expense, and it's filtered uh, from the highest to the lowest one. Then we have the quarterly dashboard. It's the same thing. In this one, you have to enter the year and choose the quarter. As you can see, it's the same thing. Everything is auto-populated from the transaction tab. So you can see your profit and loss, then the net income over three months. So basically the months related to the quarter, you can easily see the cash flow with a very comprehensive graph. Then you have all the, the summary table with the income and expense and the profit, and then all the details for each month for the income and expense. Also, as usual, you have the profit goal progress. Let's go now to the annual tab. Same thing, you only have to add your date, then choose a month. It's also auto-populated and you will see basically similar information, but over the whole year. So you can see your profit and loss, your profit margin, your net income, net expense, all the bread breakdown of the monthly income, expense and profits, as well as your profit goal and your margins. You also have a very comprehensive, comprehensive annual cash flow here. You will also be able to see your profit goal progress and then a few interesting graphs if you scroll down. And of course, you also have all the breakdown of your income and expenses, and it's filtered from the highest to the lowest. You're getting used to it now. So in the five-year dashboard, you also have to add your year and then choose a month. You can see very similar information, but over the span of five years. So you can see your profit, your profit margin, your net income, net expense, and then it compares all your years here 
uh, in this row, we can see that we didn't enter data as yet. It's completely normal. Then you can compare your income and expenses. You can have an overview of your profit goals. You can also see very comprehensive charts to uh, compare your business performance and have the breakdown of all your income and expense also filtered from the highest to the lowest. In the custom dashboard, you can basically choose a very specific uh, date range. So let's choose a start date and the end date. So this tab is really uh, useful when you want to uh, look at a very specific time in the year, for example, Black Friday time or Christmas time or, I don't know, summer sales. This way you can really pinpoint and target some very specific business performance. You will see the same tables as the other uh, tabs. And then in the comparison dashboard, you can basically compare three date range. So it's the same thing. You will have to choose your start date by double clicking and choosing on the calendar, your end date. You can also give them a name. So let's say we give, I'll just write the same thing, Q1. As you can see, it's going to appear right here. So you can easily compare, for example, the same quarter in three different years to compare your business performance. You will find the same uh, tables in this tab as the other tab. So the cash flow, a summary table, your profit goals, all your income and expense breakdown, and uh, the comparison in between your income and expenses for each selected date range. Finally, in the transaction tracker, the, the only thing we have to do again is choose a year, then a month, and you will be able to see all the taxes uh, you paid during this time. So you will see the um, total sales tax collected and the sales tax, tax paid, and then also the difference. You also have a simple graph showing you all the sales over each month of the year. You can also see um, a graph summarizing all the other, fee other fees you paid during the year. So that's it. I hope this uh, easy tutorial helps you set up your sheet. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.